this is Sarah Forehand with Fodabra. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a hair bow. We chose fall or autumn colors, the purple and the orange. And what's really cool is we all used all sorts of ribbon. We have the satin ribbon. We have this really cool glitter tool ribbon. We have some wire edge ribbon. And then we have the grow grain little loops in the center. And we finished it off with a sparkle button. I hope you enjoy our tutorial. Okay, to make our hair bow, we begin with the hair bow tool and ruler on top of the mini bodabra. Then we're going to cut, it was 18 inches of bodabra bow wire. We fold it in half, place it into the mini bodabra. Now we're going to start with a 4 inch wide bow, so that would be 2 inch loops on either side. We're going to make a boutique bow. So we cut this ribbon 18 inches long. You're going to fold it in half to find your center point and place it into the mini bodabra. Then you're going to take the end, bring that ribbon around, place it in, then take this other one, bring it over the top, place it into the mini bodabra as well. And what you're left with is an X on the top. And then you press the ribbon loops down in, use the ruler, kind of line up the loops, and then press the other side in as well. So that's your starting bow. Now I have this really cool glitter tool. The only thing is there's glitter everywhere, um, but it it is pretty cool. And so let's see, I think it was six inches wide. I folded it in half. I cut it 12 inches long. So now we have the 3 inches by 12. You're going to place the end into the mini bodabra and fold it over on this side to get about the 2 inch loops and then this side as well. And I actually have pinking shares. Um, once the bow is done I'm going to trim it up a little bit and kind of fan it out. Uh, but for now it works with the loop. Then the next step is your orange ribbon, which I dovetailed the ends. This ribbon frays, um, so actually, though I do use a, a lighter to burn my ribbon ends a lot, because this one frays so much, I actually use clear nail polish to keep it from fraying. Um, so I've already put that on there and let that dry. So again, it was 13 inches long. I'm going to fold it in half to get my center point. And press it down into the mini bow dabber, and then I'm making this is gonna this bow is gonna be three inches wide, so your loop is gonna be at the one and a half inch mark, and you have one tail going down, and then the one and a half inch mark on the other side with the tail going down. Now as your bow gets bigger, you're gonna want to use your mini bow dabber one to really scrunch the bow down so that you can add another layer. So we'll keep that there for now. The final um, part of this bow is just, it's like a little bow tie except for it's twisted. So this ribbon, oh look, I have glitter all over me. This tool, it's very cool but you do get a lot of glitter. Okay, so this ribbon is five and a half inches long. Once I cut it, you fold it in half to find your halfway point and then you can just twist the ribbon. It's the easiest way to do it. And then twist the ribbon the other way. You see that's your center point and then you just have these two little twists. Take that, put that right down into the center, put your wand back on, make sure that everything stays together. It does get harder once the bow gets bigger. So it is a lesson in patience sometimes as well. Okay, so there we go. It's in there securely. Down in. Yay me. Okay, so then once it's in, scrunch it down and then take your Bodabra bow wire and you're gonna wanna take the tail ends, put it through the loop Pull tightly and then 
pull again. Remove the bow. Bring the wire around to the back. And when you tie off the wire, you're going to want to tie it right in the center of the bow, or otherwise your bow is going to be lopsided. So you want your knot right in the back in the center. And then you can work on fluffing your bow. I'm just trying to make everything symmetrical. Pull the wire again as tight as you can. And then I'm going to trim the wire. I'll knot it one more time. Trim the wire and then um, I have these really a cool sparkle button that fits perfectly with my sparkle tool theme. So I'm just going to add a little hot glue on the back of it. Place it in the center. And then to trim the tool, I'm using pinking shears and I'm just going to kind of round it. that side and this side as well so follow the instructions to make two identical bows um, and glue alligator ribbon lined alligator clips on the back of them to complete them our Bodabra hair bow making tutorial. To learn more about Bodabra products, please visit bodabra.com. You can also find our products on the shelves of most major retail craft stores. Thanks for watching.